Hi gamers, welcome back to Blackthorn Arena, Mezzo here. Um, this is a game I've been meaning to come back to for a little while, but I've just been a bit distracted by some other games. So apologies for that. Um, but you know, the, uh, the latest update is at 1.1 and I thought, hey, this is a great time to come back um, and actually start a new game because uh, I was kind of riding with another game and it's going well, but given the changes, I'm thinking this is a great time to start again. There's been heaps of changes. I'm not going to go into them now. Let's discover them together as we play. Um, and also, of course, I've um, made a couple of characters in the role library. So I'm going to start a new game and we'll bring those characters into them. One, in fact, was made by my daughter, um, who saw the video and thought that that looked like fun. So uh, let's start a new game and uh, get into this. We'll go with senior difficulty. I'm not too worried about this. The manual combat stuff is cool because you can leave it to them to fight for themselves or, or you can get involved. So I'm, I'm happy to keep doing that. Uh, so let's just get into it. Uh, loads of load screens as we know. Also, um, although that's getting much quicker, um, the text down the bottom, there's some tips that they've put in, which is cool. You can choose your character. Uh, I won't mess around with this too much. Let's choose someone that looks like this guy. I think it's cool when they look the same. Uh, put a bit of a beard on him. There you go. There you go. They pretty much look like each other. Um, and uh, yeah, let's not faff around with this too much. So it's a shame you can't change your outfits because that is pretty boring outfit. It's not a very athletic dude either. Um, uh, Mesos Maximus. I mean, that would probably be 90% of people's names. Now, select initial slaves. So this is cool. So this is the part where we can pick Dennis Menisus. Uh, you remember I struggled spelling his name in the last video. And Opal Sakharovage is the uh, Vage. Sakharovage, not quite sure you say that, is the character that my daughter chose. So she's a uh, she's a gladiator duelist, so the damage dealer of the two, specializes in pole arms. And uh, good old Dennis is the... Uh, He's the tank healer character, defender commander character. Um, and he specializes in one hand, but we're going to get him moving into shields pretty quickly. Alrighty. Cool. So let's um, shut that down. They're selected. Yep, yeah, cool. Start the game. Going to skip the uh, intro sequence. Goes on for a bit. It's all cool, but I think we just want to see the game. So, again. Here's the uh, tips, and you can flick through these, so they've included that, that's pretty cool. Uh, particularly because the load times are, are kind of long. Alright, so here we are in the first arena, there's my guy there. Looking drab. Oh, the other guys are heaps better. I'm not going to read all this stuff. Yeah. Alright, so here's our, uh, here's our competition. And, um, yes. Hi oh guys, alright, okay. Well, let's get into this then guys. Remember the space pauses the action. And then uh, does he even have a weapon? Okay, so that's uh so he does have weapons, let's attack him. And let's just make sure what have we got? Inconsistent, passive, cautious. This is it, the way I like to set this up. Inconsistent. I find that's a pretty good, good way to start. I can bully her to death. Good one, Dennis. Get the shot in there. Get that, take out that archer later. Oh, lovely guys. Smash Parley up. Beautiful. She's running away. Alright, now Dennis. Those traps, Opal. I'm not going to go down. I don't want to be too injured either because I'm not planning on buying a lot of extra slaves to start with. I just want to kit these guys out with some really good equipment. Ooh, that's good. Well, I think that's probably the way to start, isn't it? Let's just kill him. Ooh, and they put, they've put a little death animation in there. Nice. Oh dear, Dennis. That looks like a painful arrow. Just chewed it up in your mouth. Nice, both leveled up, slightly wounded, and those two, of course, are dead. 
And uh, still got the Asian writing in here. Not quite. Obviously, need to polish that up a little bit. Uh, maybe that's for update 1.2. Cool. All right. Let's get to the um, let's get to the home base, Blackthorn. I didn't realise that my daughters um, put the same face paint on as, uh, as as Dennis, so that's cool. They're like in the same tribe, Braveheart tribe. Okay, cool. So we got 30 favour, 10 silver, um, and no new traits or injuries, just slightly wounded, which is cool. Uh, love you, bro, but you know we're just going to skip on past all your chitter chatter. That's all right. Thanks very much. One more thing. No, no, be gone. I lost a command. Right, so first things first. So not a lot's changed here from what I'm seeing in the last patch, which is cool. One thing I did find out is that you can actually walk around your own arena if you go into first person mode, which is so cool. And really sort of hidden away there. So, uh, but anyway, let's not faff around with that. Let's get the guys into the treatment room. They're injured. In you go, Dennis. In you go, Opal. You heal up. And while you're healing up, we're going to head over to the market. Because, yeah, nice one there, guys. Okay, so we've got those guys healing up back at base. Um, and now we're just going to look at the first market. Um, as you switch between the markets with this button down here, it doesn't actually matter how many markets you go to. Just um, It all just takes one day. So the guys would have one day's worth of healing back at home base. And this is another character, my other daughter produced Beret Scrawlvage down there. Similar name to the other, to the other uh, elven lady. Um, what did she make there? A gladiator berserker. So it's cool that the other characters are brought into this. And again, having two names makes them easy identifiable because everyone else has got one. Now we've got a few characters here that are locked behind bars and you need to um, toughen them up a bit in the old uh, torture chamber. And I'm not worried about doing that at the moment because what I'm looking for is a a medical person and a training person um, and so you can see the skill sets down the bottom there so this person is good at torturing and forge I'm worried about that at the moment so that's that person's good at coaching and torturing and they're level five that's pretty that's pretty cool um, oh Brett Berit is also a good coach uh, that's a forge, and that one doesn't have any obvious skills. So, but I'm not willing to spend 60 yet because I am going to spend a bit, bit of money on tools. I think it's really important to have some good armor and weapons early on. Uh, now, there's a level three pole arm in here, which is good because the um, opal does. She's got. She can use pole arms. So that's pretty handy, but that's a lot of money, one gold. Not great stamina reduction. It's pretty devastating though. Um, and I want a shield and a one-handed thing for the other. So we might come back here. Let's let's just jump out and go to the other markets. I wasn't blown away by any of the slaves. What was the armor here? It's a pretty cool. It's a nice gladiatorial. Gladiator helmet as well. Okay, but blues might be a little bit too expensive for me at this time. Let's have a look at the Thieves Guild. Okay, cool. So the Thieves Guild's a um, pretty brutal looking place. Jeez, I suppose it's a slave market. I shouldn't expect anything better, but um, God, I need to treat these guys a little bit better if they're hoping to sell them. So Jared, he's Forge. Uh, Marie, Mariana is uh, Leadership. Francis is Leadership. No, knock over these guys who are in the cages. Okay, so Medical Torture. And Forge too for 20. That is pretty good. Good stats as well. So Jennifer, who is a brute man. Let's have a look at uh, 20. Level 1. Brute man. I think probably prefer to be called Brute Woman. Um, pretty cool. And her traits, which is important to look at these as well. Um, are not going to be anything that's going to hold us back. So Jennifer's looking good for a purchase. We might be buying you, Jennifer. And we've got this ranger human. But again, I mean, 
if we do need to torture anyone, and Jennifer can take care of She can heal and torture. What a sick out. I suppose she's got a good understanding of the body. Oh, look, we're just going to take Jennifer. We're going to take you. Oh. Bye. Lovely. Coming back to Blackthorn. Let's have a look at the weapons while we're here. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we've got a blue shield for Dennis. We've got that blue halberd for um, Opal. I'd go with the green one if I wanted to save a bit of money. But I'd like the idea of getting the blue. And. What's that shields? Plus two strength, which means they can, he can hold more. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't think we'll worry about armor right now, but we will definitely build that up over time. We probably should buy a bit of armor, just some basic stuff for the guys, because that is important. Okay, so we've got our medical person. Let's just check the last market, and then we might come back there. Okay, so here we are in the last market. This is a much nicer looking place. It's definitely somewhere I choose to go a bit more often. And we're looking for that coach. So there's a coach there. Ah, Sultan can coach and medical. But I'd like someone with slightly higher coaching skills. Coach level one. Oh. Well, we might not pick up a coach this time around. It's slightly disappointing. Okay, well, we won't worry about a coach right now. What weapons have we got? So we've got a knife sword there. Which is good. So the sword plus the shield is going to be 1.1 gold. We can just about afford that, but we won't be able to afford any armor right now. Um, good attack speed. Go with a cheaper trident. I really do like that other trident. Um, we won't worry about a battle bow. And then we've got some, some semi decent armor, but I don't think we've got enough of that armor. Okay, let's pick up this knight sword. Um, we have a very, very small amount of money here, so we need to be a little bit careful. Got back to the market, new guild. Okay, here we are back at the Thieves Guild, and let's just grab, um, let's grab that halberd, that is expensive. But it looks pretty sweet. And let's get this blue shield. Nice, alright. So we've got our weapons. We got our medical person. Um, there wasn't a coach here, was there? He skipped over. And to be honest, we're running a bit low on cash anyway. So now I think we've got to go back, and it's time to uh, get Dennis and Opal into some fights. Okay, so here we are back at Blackthorn Arena, and a uh, nice one, guys. You two, the only two in here, and you managed to get into a... You got into a fight, and Jennifer, you weren't even back at the base. You were at the market. God, Jesus. Um, well, you better watch out, uh, Dennis, because she's good at torture. So, I'm going to punish you both. Uh, which means your obedience, interestingly, goes up by one, but your health goes down. So, it's just the way it is. Now, hopefully, if we look in the treatment room... Yeah, these guys are a little bit better. So, let's get good old Jennifer in here. So if you take her out, if we take her out, can't really do that. Okay, so if you just have a normal character in there without the skills, the healing rate is 15 and the cure speed is zero. But if you put, let's get back in there, Dennis. If we put uh, Jennifer in here, go the healing rate goes up to 18, that gives us hit points per day and cure speed too, so if they get any injuries, they're curing them, she can cure them as well, so that's awesome. Now, let's go to our gladiators, and let's, um, two things we want to do here. First of all, we want to get this piece of junk, a dagger, mate, I mean, seriously. Here, you are. have a nice sword, and have this boss shield. And you're going to start feeling a lot better about yourself. Now, he's massively over income, but we won't worry about that right now. What we do need to do is get one point into shield. And then with these other two points, let's increase the strength, because we're going to armor this guy up, right? So that's cool. Uh, now, in skills, 
we have two points to spend, and I want to go straight into shield and um, yeah, the shield strikes pretty awesome. Um, but so is the defender, so I can increase his resistance. I think we're going to do that for the moment. So if we go to his resistance down here. I mean, there's so many stats in this, but it's, yeah, I love it. It's just great. Awesome RPGing. So many things to play with. So already he's pretty resi resilient, so that's good. So we'll definitely go with that. So you're you're done, old son. And now Opal. Let's get you equipped. Not a bad spear, but you're going to use that, and you're going to feel like an absolute champion. So your gear's pretty good. You start with some pretty okay gear. Next time we go to the market, we're going to sell all this junk. So all of that. Yeah, that's all going to get sold. That'll bring us a bit of money in, actually, which is cool. So now let's level her up. Well, we definitely want more endurance for you. I just think that is super important. Go. Um, the attack speed. What's the dodge one? Block. Because this thing, I think, increases block rate, doesn't it? Yeah. What is your block rate at the moment? 15%. Critical chance and block. Oh, yeah. Definitely go from that. Okay, tick those. Let's get your skills happening. Tactics, I'm not going to worry about right now. They've done a heap of work to this, but. Um, and the triggers, but that gets a bit complicated. So I just for now focus on your weapon. That is your pole arms. I kind of wish it just showed the weapons that they were trained in. That'd be kind of cool. And this one is the what can you do here? Oh yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go for the aviator. And uh, all melee weapon damage increase by 60 percent Awesome. 9%. Sweet. Okay, so you are the damage dealer. Matey's the tank. And guys, I think it's time we started looking for a fight. So, let's go for arena info. What have we got on? What's this one? Average level 5. So we want to look for some low levels here. So what's this one all about? Team size 3. No, that's no good for us. Started that started team size three. Okay, so what we're going to do close that down. We're going to have a day's resting. So end the turn. And these guys are now fully healed. So let's go to the training ground. Let's chuck them in here. That's yeah, okay as well. While they're in there, let's just. You're a little bit injured, Jennifer. Let's let's get you in here. There you go. You can treat yourself. Um, and let's have a look now. Do we have anything that's worth fighting? Yes, we do. Get some iron, fur, and uh, some expensive herbs from that. But most importantly, we get some money because my expenditure is. Oh, that reminds me. I've got to make sure. That Need to buy a guard because we've got to make sure that this escape rate is. Oops. There, sorry, pirate guard. Got too much going on here. So now the escape rate is 100, but of course the costs uh, exceed uh, build up when you buy more guards and you've got more um, gladiators to feed and so forth. So let's go back to this one. So that one's that one. This needs two people. This is the same, the favour's a bit less and the equipment's not that great, so I don't think there's any point in doing that. This is only one person. It's a mace, but the money is rubbish. And this is three people, so we're going to go with one person. Good favour. Yeah, cool. And we'll send, um, I think we'll send Dennis the Menace, Menace us into this. Okay, my son, start. 
Now what I forgot to check is what level this guy is. <laughs> He's level 6. Level 2 versus level 6. Looks like he's a marksman, a human marksman. So you know what, let's just do it. We're going to gamble on our guy. The odds aren't with him. Let's hope we take old Fitzwilliam down. Let's go. I think you've really got to gamble early on. You really need to build your money up quite quickly. So, uh, let's back our guy. He's got some decent equipment. Lost my bet, didn't get any money. Oh, that was not a great. And he's got a wound. That was not a great battle. Level six as well. Silly. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to get Dennis. Not so much menaces to the treatment room. In you go, sunshine. Um, oh dear, mate. You took an absolute batter in there. Let's get good old Jennifer. Onto things, and um, I guess we're looking for the next arena. Now we are going to need one person only. Level eight recruitment. Oh, I think, given that last one, I'm not sure we're going to be in a position to take a level eight recruitment on. But having said that, she's she's pretty tough. No harm, no foul. I just won't bet on this one. Oh, Jennifer, you don't sound that savage. Oh, no, sorry, not Jennifer, you're Opal. Um, well, let's get into it. Let's see how you go. Okay, so, Babar, level 8 brew man. Oh, jeez, Jennifer. Oh, I'm sorry about this. Do you know what I could do? I could bet on them. We get the XP, they win, we get money. Why not? It's a cool setting this one. Oh my goodness, he's massive. He's got a huge, huge sword. Oh, okay. What have I done? Well, we'll try and win it, Opal. We won't throw it. We're not going to throw the fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Oh, she's already injured, interestingly. No, she's not. 140 health. Okay, he's got some sort of rage thing going on. So let's just... Oh my goodness, mate. Right. 
from Ben and France Dodge. Good dodging, Jesse Kaipo. Good looking at right? He's dodging a bit as well. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Who's a slippery old fella? She's got something going on here. Taunted. Okay. Oh, I love how they've got these things. I think that might be the game. So you can see exactly what's going on. Oh my goodness, I think you might actually win this. Ah! Oh, poor! Well, my daughter's going to be very happy. I thought it was going to be dead. But at the moment, things are looking extremely positive. He's a nimble fellow for a big lad. If she takes out a little late guy, then the world's her oyster. Okay, they do need to hit each other. Oh, it's an absolute. The third one to die. There's absolutely no half measures here if you're going down. Ooh, she, look how she stabbed him in the um, nasty area there. Oh, okay. I wish I had faith in you. I, I'm, I, I'm always attacked. Leveled up. No injuries to speak of. Amazing. Yeah, so that's a bit of a bummer. So we won 27 silver, but we lost, I think that's 10 silver on me being a Muppet and not backing the mighty Opal Saravage. I must ask my daughter how you say that. Sacavage? She's not even that injured. It's outstanding. Meanwhile, the guy I created, oh, it's hopeless, still injured as all buggery. Uh, but she's up to the she'll, she'll take care of you. That's the way. Good girl. Right. Back to the training grounds with you. Uh, actually, no, we probably should stick you in the treatment room. Um, and uh, next time, we will look for another mission. I really am enjoying this game. Uh, I'm right back into this, guys. I will be doing more of these for sure. Um, I'm going to call it quits there for now. Hey, uh, Jennifer, where are you off to? you got you got people to heal here. Yeah, thanks. Um, I'll call it quits for now, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed that, and um, catch you next time. Hopefully, old Dennis will perform a bit more impressively, but I will. What a superstar. All right, cheers, guys. Take it easy.